Hello, welcome to School of Digitizing, our very first class of Mastering the Fundamentals of Panina Software 7. I want to tell you I'm really going to take it from uh, somebody who knows nothing and we're going to tear apart each and every icon we see in this software and what to do and what not to do. And um, yeah, so that we know each and every step that's going on in our software. The installation should be have been done. Everything should be fine. And let me close this file. When you open your software, um, oh, why is this still there? I closed it. Okay, file new. Did you see what I just did? I, um, I clicked on file and I asked for a new. In other words, I'm starting right from the word go. Whether it's a design I want to edit, whether I want to call up a design to send through to my machine, or whether it's a new page that I would like to do digitizing on, this is where I go for a new page. Of course, we've got a shortcut which is new and there it tells you create a new empty design also what i love is press f1 for help so your help files are also available okay when i'm on a new file whatever i see here on my file on this side is my toolbox and on my right hand side is my color chart um, but what I've got here as you can see I've got a, a grid on I've got a grayish yellowish don't know what to call the color background all this depends on myself now we have got no design in yet we have not started yet so let's have a look I've got all my um, there's my file. That's normally on any program. That's normally with what you do. And we will work through it. You will find that most of the stuff we've got in file, that we click on file and go for new, we can also go, yeah, will be shortcut icons. Then I've got my menu bar for overview, window, color film, carving stamp. We will work through all of them. We've also worked through our toolbox which depending on what you've selected the last time you've used it that is where it normally opens if i want to edit then i open my